Hi, I'm Rebecca. And I'm Mark. And today we are tasting our 2020 Rosé made from Cabernet Franc. So we picked these grapes in the Oliver Studios area. Some of our growers locally where basically we hand pick all this Cab Franc. And then we, what we do, once it comes to the winery, we gently de-stem it. And then we put it whole berry into uh, our Ganymede Italian style tanks. Mm -hmm. And we keep them in the tank for about four days on a cold soak to really extract the color. And that's how we get this really nice dark ruby red color. Mm. Yeah, so we got a lot of cranberry on this one. For me, the color was really intense. So after four days, we pressed it off. You really get that stewed rhubarb mm -hmm. strawberry. I think it really comes through on the nose and a super, super long ferment. Yeah, so this fermentation was about 32 days. So even though it's a red grape, we make it uh, in a white wine style. So um, everything is pressed and it's cold fermented. Um, and by doing that really cold ferment for 32 days, we really extract a lot of the aromatics. So after about 32 days, this wine, we cool it down. And what that does is stop the fermentation process by holding on to just a little bit of natural residual sweetness. I think it really brings out the essence of the Cab Franc. This wine, you could pair with a lot of things really, like uh, honeyed ham, I think this would be amazing. Any kind of, anything that has like cloves to it, I think this would go really well. I would also look at a um, chorizo, something like that, like a spicy sausage. I think you really can't go too far wrong in pairing this wine on any special occasion, or it's good just on its own, in my opinion, on the patio. Absolutely, great barbecue wine. So cheers, cheers. to the 2020 Cabernet Franc Rosé. Enjoy.